friends, welcome back. I am feeling fabulous. No more headaches. Um, I feel great. I really, really do. Thank you everyone for your prayers and your concern and all of your well wishes and suggestions and greatly, greatly appreciated. Went to the doctors today and I told him straight up that I'm not going to a headache clinic. I do not need to go to a headache clinic. Um, it is my sinuses. I said, I know my body. I know that it was my sinuses. I just know. And I asked him, um, I said, even though like it's pretty much run its course, I asked his opinion on what type of sinus medicine I could take that will not interfere with um, having one kidney and also is not gonna make my heart race 100 miles an hour and feel like I'm having a heart attack. So I got that information from him. So in the future, if this should happen again, I can nip it in the bud. So very glad to be feeling back to normal. So thank you everyone. Um, I do have a... Uh, combination haul video for all of you. Um, but I wanted to say that when I opened my friend mail in my very long video the other day, I forgot to mention some fantastic Christmas cards that my subscribers um, sent me as well. So I did get, um, excuse me, I had, what the heck is that? Okay. Um, I have a bunch of cards here that I received, and I just want to mention the people that sent them to me. Um, my friend Blanca, my friend Mary, Tracy, Cindy W., Tamson, um, Authentically Amber, Hang on. Um, Sandra S. Diane B. Um, Angie. Angie. Holy cow. Angry Cat Crafts. Uh, Nikki is her name. Um, so I am in a dilemma, though. Um, I do have a package of friend mail also that I have to open, but I'm not going to do it in today's video. Um, I do have others that are apparently coming, so I'm going to wait until I get um, a few more and then I will open them. Um, but my dilemma is, as you recall, I had mentioned that I, if it was the last thing I did, I wanted to send out thank yous Thank you cards to everyone who was kind enough to send me friend mail. However, there were a few people that I neglected to save their address. Hence, I can't send them a thank you card or a Christmas card. So, y'all, if you're watching, Please email me your address. Please. Paula G. Darlene S. Tammy A. Vicki. I am in need of your address. So if you would please email it to me. My email address is in the description box. I would greatly appreciate it. Alrighty, with all of that being said, let's get on with this haul video. All right. Yesterday, my daughter and I went to Salvation Army and Goodwill. So I will share with you what I picked up yesterday, which wasn't really a whole lot. So at uh, Salvation Army... I spent a total of $9.55. Um, I believe that green, pink, 
green and pink. I can't remember. Anyways, I know white was not um, on sale, but I know green and pink were. But anyhow, you know that I spent $9.55 on what I'm going to show you. First off, I found this very, you know, I have a huge collection of Santa mugs and Santa Clauses in general, which you will see when I do my um, Christmas home tour very soon. Um, it will be before Christmas. <laughs> but this little guy was 49 cents, half price though. So I paid a quarter. So yes, he's awesome. And he is from Japan. I don't know if you guys can see that. And he's really, um, he's got a few little areas of paint loss, but I don't care. I love it. So I grabbed him. I found another, uh, this is a glass flower frog. It's a pretty thick one. It does have a couple of chips on the bottom, but I don't really care about that because I don't care. <laughs> So I grabbed this, and I can't remember what I paid for it. Um, oh, I don't think there was a price on it. So I think she charged me 29 cents. That's what it was, 29 cents. Thank you very much. I'll take it. Okay. Now, um, I grabbed these. These are eight packs. These are Martha Stewart, and they are um, test tube favor kits. So as I said, there's eight in the package. They were $2.19. There were three of them. Now, the only reason I bought these is because they were, they were sold on eBay for between $10 and $12 a pack. So, hey, if I can make 8 or $10 per pack, heck yeah, I'll buy them all day long. So, I got those. Then, the last thing that I got at Salvation Army is this very cool 70s, I would say, 60s, 70s, patent leather, bright yellow and white ice bucket. OMG, is that not awesome? And it's in excellent, excellent condition. It was $2.99 and I got it for half price. $1.50. Look at it's look at that. It's in excellent shape. It's it's got like dirt little finger marks on the inside, but that'll come right off. But look at. It's like awesome. I love this. Like this, and you know what? It doesn't even have to be used as an ice bucket. It could be used as a planter. You could use it for anything. But I just thought like, wow. It reminds me of like a raincoat or something. I had to grab it. It's like in such perfect condition. So, um... I'm, I'm probably going to resell it. I really don't know what I could get for it, but I'm just going to guesstimate. Maybe I could probably get $15 to $20 at least. So, yeah, pretty cool. I love it. The cat's playing over there in the hallway. Okay, so that was what I got at Salvation Army yesterday. Now, at Goodwill yesterday, I got a couple of very cool things, and I didn't want to leave them for today, for Senior Citizen Tuesday, because I was afraid they would be gone. So, um, hopefully I can get at it. I don't know. I'm going to have to move a couple things here. Um, just give me one second, guys, because I don't want anything getting broken. Whoops. Let me just move this. Just going to set that there. Okay. Now, yesterday, I spent $23.60. 
I paid regular price for everything that I got yesterday. So let me start. I bought this. This is a um, fired piece of ceramics and it is um, Santa Claus and he is on his knees and he looks to me to be praying. And I bought him because I'm going to paint him. I just love this. Absolutely love it. So I am going to paint this and I'm going to add it to my Santa collection. Look at him. I, I love it. So grabbed him. He was uh, $3.49. Let me put him over here. I don't want him to fall. Wait do you see this, you guys. Hang on. Okay, um, I don't remember what the price was for this, but this is a Balik clock. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is the back. Oh, there's the price, $5.49, it's on the side there. There is the mark. And it says on the bottom as well, $5.49. This will be for resale. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to charge for it. I haven't looked it up yet, but it's absolutely gorgeous. There's no chips, no cracks. It's in perfect condition. So... Now you see why I didn't want to wait till today. It would have been gone. I know it would have been gone. Sometimes you just have to spend the money. You know, and you can't always wait and wait because it'll be gone. So I do not regret one bit paying $5.49 for this because it's worth it. It really is. And I also purchased... Why am I thinking? Something just doesn't seem right to me. $5.49, $3.49, and $7. I don't know. It just seems that's like too much. But anyway, this I paid regular price for. It was $7. Is this yesterday's? No. Seven thirty-nine. One, two, three. There should have been four things. What am I missing? I'm missing something else. Three forty-nine. 549. So I, that's why I was saying, like, I'm missing something. I'm going to have to double check. Maybe I, maybe I stuck it in the dishwasher to wash it. So I might have to pause the video to go look at my dishwasher. <laughs> anyway, let me show you this. Look at this. This is Fire King. And it is custard color casserole dish with the stand and it's all glass let me put it down because I want to show you okay I checked this whole thing not a chip so that's the lid I don't even think it was used, honestly, because there's like, I don't see any scratches or anything. There's no chips. And here's the Fire King logo. Okay. Let me show you this like pedestal stand. Look at the 
detailing on the handles and all along the outside. I saw that and I was like, oh my God, I have to get that. So I have not had a chance to look it up. So I have no idea what um, I would list this for. But I'm, I'm thinking, like I said, just a guesstimate, probably $25, $30. Don't quote me because I'm, like I said, I'm not positive. But I mean, this is a stunning piece and I love the custard color. I really, really do. So I don't know. Okay, I'm not even gonna try to lift that up right now and put it back on. All right, let me pause and see if I can find the other item because I know, just let me check. <laughs> well, <laughs> I cannot find the other item. I have no idea where it is or what it is. I forgot that quick what it is. So I purchased four items. I have three in front of me and have no idea what the other one is. And it was $5.49, whatever it was. I cannot think of it at the moment. So if I remember, I'll let you know. All right. So that was yesterday's trip. Today, after my doctor's appointment, I went back to Goodwill because there were a couple things that I saw the day before that I figured I'm going to wait and go back tomorrow for my 25% discount and get it, which I did. So today I spent, let me see, I have two receipts because I saw something on my way out after I already paid and had to go back and get it. <laughs> but anyway, so um, let's just say that I, okay, I spent $44.33, then purchased two other things that were both half price items because yellow was half price. So the two things that I purchased, I spent $4.86. So let's just say I spent about 50 bucks. Okay? All right. Let me show you what I got. And I think I did pretty damn well for the $50 that I spent. I think. All right. The first thing I am going to insert here. Look at this spectacular antique desk, you guys. Yep, I gotta come around this way now. It does have, uh, I don't know what that is, but there is like graffiti on it. But, it was only $15, and with my senior discount, I paid $11.25. But look at that. Oh, I'm like so excited about this desk. I mean, if I wanted to, I could sand all this down and hopefully like sand, sand down to get rid of the the writing that's in the wood, but I'm not sure if I'm even gonna bother. I guess that's part of the history, but OMG, you guys should see the gum that is underneath the top. I'm gonna see if I can show you. I, The girl that worked there when I was carrying the desk to the front of the store, she's like, oh my God, look at all the gum underneath there. See if I can. Ew. <laughs> Ew. That is so disgusting. 
All right. How are you going to beat $11.25 for that desk? You're not. I've seen people selling them for upwards of $50 to $100. Am I keeping it? Not sure. If I do resell it, it'll be a Facebook Marketplace item. Not sure. Tell me that that gum on the bottom was not disgusting. Oh. Well, my daughter says that's a lot of DNA under that desk. <laughs> I'm going to be wearing gloves and a, a scraper and yeah. Okay, so anywho, let's see what else did I get. All right, let me show you what I saw on my way out that I purchased. Look at these bunnies. They were $5.49 less 50%. Let's take them out. They are very, very cute. I tried to make sure that there was nothing wrong with them. From I don't hate when they put the stuff in these bags. Okay. There's the one. Look, and they got little sparklies. They remind me of Snow Babies. Department 56 Snow Babies. And then there is this one. Aren't they beautiful? I love them. And these are going out at Easter time. So, I mean, I had to get them. Like, really? For $2.25? Wait. Yeah. No. <laughs> $2.75. I can't add today either. $2.75 for both of these little bunnies. Can't beat it. So I, I got those. See, that was my mistake because I usually, they have like stuff, um, uh, you know, at the cash registers on shelves. And I looked on the one side, but not on the other side. And I should have looked before I cashed out, but I did not. Then I saw these guys. $3.49, half off. Mm hmm Gee, I don't know who these are for. Although, I do like frogs myself. But these little guys, um, I'm assuming, oh my God, look at how cute. <laughs> look at... OMG. So they have things in the bottom that you take out. And I'm assuming you can fill them with sand or water. Um, I don't know. You could put them outside. They are very, very cute. And these are... Hang on, guys. It says made in China. So they're made in China, but they are absolutely adorable. And I mean, for $1.75, how cute. Had to get them, had to get them. Larry, you have some more frogs to join your family at some point, whenever I can get them out in the mail. <laughs> All right, so I got those. I had to get this, and you guys will know why as soon as you see it. Actually, this was a home goods item, and it was originally $5.99. I paid $3.49, less 25%. Look at this. Vintage Santa. Oh, he is absolutely adorable. Look at those cheeks and that little nose and that smile. And those eyes. 
They're so bright and happy. And he's, it's like a, you know, one of those boxes. Yes. I don't know where I'm going to put it. When I, sh when I show you, you, when I show you guys my Christmas decor, you're going to be like, I can't believe she's still buying more Christmas. I just cannot resist vintage looking and truly vintage Christmas. I just cannot. It's an illness. I got this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hemming and hawing about keeping it. Because I was telling the girl, I said, I can see this with a bunch of flowers in it in the summertime on my kitchen table. This is a Martha Stewart pitcher. And of course, it is a lemon. It's in perfect shape, not a crack or chip anywhere. This was $5.49. And I'm trying to, I was peeling the tag off yesterday to see who the maker was. And it is Martha Stewart. And I don't think they sell for a whole lot. Um, I remember, I, I did look it up yesterday on eBay, but for the life of me, I can't remember what they were selling for. I think because I don't think there was any sold listings. I think that's what it was. So... I'm not sure, you know, um, if I decide to list it, I'll list it. If I decide to keep it, then you won't see it in my eBay store. <laughs> so I just, uh, I don't know. I just really, really like it. So I'm probably not going to list it, but you never know. All right. Then, whoops. Then I grabbed this. For my friend Tammy Roberts. Um, if you guys have never watched Tammy, you gotta check out her channel. She does all kinds of thrifting. She is not a reseller though. She What she thrifts is for herself or for her friends. But she is a collector of um, Blue Delft. And I found this... Um, beer mug um but the only problem with it it was only 89 cents you guys and it has hand painted delft blue made in holland it has a chip right there however i think that i can touch that up so that you really won't be able to notice so i'm gonna give it a shot uh, no, I'm not going to use polymer clay, but I'm going to try and use either watercolor paints or um, a Sharpie. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But, yes, it's very pretty, though. It's very pretty. And very dirty. That's gross. <laughs> All right. Next up, just what I need. More Halloween. <laughs> I love my Halloween. No. 25% off of $349. It was like two something, like $225 or whatever. I mean, look how cute. It's wood. I love it. I love it. I had to get it. And I had to get this because it's Binks. Yes. Same thing. $349 less 25%. And hang on because this is, how did that get all screwed up? There we go. Look at that. Same price. I was not passing them up. I I put them in the cart. Then I took them 
and I was holding them. I was going to put them back on the shelf. And then I said, nope, I'm getting them. And I threw them back in the cart. Yep. Had to have them. I had to. And I had to have this. Look at the ghosts. Look at guys. It lights up. Yep, I had to have it. This I paid $5.49 less 25%. I don't care. Nope, I don't. Two more items. Let me show you this one first. This was a half price item. It was regular $3.49, less 25%. This is a 1995 Looney Tunes light cover. How cool is that? There will never be better cartoons than Looney Tunes. The crap they have out now, I don't know what the heck they were thinking. These are the best cartoons ever. So, this is going to be for resale. This would be awesome in a little kid's room, obviously. Not quite sure what I'm going to ask for it because I haven't done any research because I just got it today. Very cool. So... The final item that I purchased. Now, do I need this? No, I do not. But it's brand new, never used. These usually go for about $25, $30. I got this brand new CD radio player. It is a... Portable AM FM Stereo Compact Disc Player. It was regular 1039, less 25%. So, I mean, how are you going to beat that? What did I pay? Like eight something? Eight something for a brand new CD player. So, I figure... Um, I'll put it away, um, <clears throat> maybe put it away for my nephew when he gets a little bit bigger, um, cause he's only going to be six or is it seven? Oh my God. I forget. Oh my God. I can't remember if he's going to be six or seven. Wow. Yep. Won't be long now. But anyways, so for that price and brand new, you bet your bip I picked it up. So that is my haul video, guys. Oh, and I wanted to show you something. Hang on, let me grab it. It's right over here. If you remember, in one of my videos, I picked up this boot. With this, uh, I, I only wanted it for this candle. But if you remember, the boot was just painted white and it had somebody's name on it. So what I did is I took the stuff I told you about called Snowtex. And I put that all around and put um, sprinkle, sprinkles. See, it's nice and sparkly, and it looks like snow. Is that not awesome? So I just wanted to show you how it turned out, because I know sometimes I tell you guys I'm going to do something with something, and then I never show you. So there it is. <laughs> All right. Um, what the heck are you guys doing? Oh, Binks and Sophie are at it in the hallway. Binksy, you want to come see your fan club? Come here, Binks. Come here. Come here. Come on. No, he's too.
too busy licking himself. He has a habit of, he's like constantly licking himself that he's licking his fur off. Right? Well, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as I said, I will be coming back at you with a Christmas home tour. Um, we will be touring uh, pretty much every dang room in my house because that's how much Christmas decorations I had <laughs> that I had to keep going. Kitchen, living room, my bedroom, the bathroom. Oh, my God. So, that should be quite a tour. And it should probably take about an hour. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, everyone. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.